All right, hi there, Steve Piper. A quick thought for you today. One thought in two parts. Um, and as you're building your music career, your indie music career, the first thing is you have to keep in mind that you're creating a business. Yes, it's a creative business. Hopefully it's something that you love to do that comes from the very middle of you, but it is a business. It's not like a job. And in one respect, you can't treat it like a job. And here's what I mean. Uh, most of us are used to approaching a job in this way. We give a certain amount of time, and in return, we get a certain amount of money. Yes, there are some certain results that are expected while we spend this time on the job, but mostly you just have to show up and kind of try, and you get paid. And if you work a certain number of hours, you get paid a certain number of dollars. That's kind of the whole arrangement, right? Well, building a business is not that way. You're not exchanging hours for dollars directly. What you're doing is exchanging your time to build assets. Assets are things that have value intrinsically because people value them. An example is we own some rental properties. They're houses. People live in houses, so these houses have value. And month in and month out, these houses produce rent money because they're assets. Nothing I do changes how much money they bring in, basically. I don't, have to, I don't have to show up and do anything at these houses. The rent check shows up every month. That's the nature of an asset. And a song, an album, uh, an awesome t-shirt, a video, those are assets that produce things for you in the same way. A great album produces a lot of money for you. A great song produces a lot of views and a lot of money for you. These are what you're creating when you build an indie music career. Now, it may sound obvious, but you really need to internalize that because in the beginning, when you're just building your assets, you're going to put a lot of hours in and get zero dollars out. You're working for no pay up front as you build these assets. The pay comes later when you have great assets that fans love, that fans connect with and are willing to pay you for. And then those same assets that you created, which in the beginning paid you zero dollars, suddenly pay you almost forever. Today, a song can earn you money a decade after you've released it. People can still be buying that song and you can still be paying, getting paid for it a full decade after and beyond after you've created it. And that's the nature, it's the awesome power of the sort of permanent digital world that we live in. Create something amazing and it'll pay you for years and years and years on end. So in that regard, it's not like a job. But in a different regard, you have to treat it like a job. In other words, you have to show up. You have to do the work. You have to do it on a regular basis. Um, and you have to do it on a regular basis, day in and day out, for no pay in the beginning but you still have to show up because the assets don't build themselves. They don't just create themselves out of nothing. They take your heart and your soul and your energy to create them. And if you're one of those people who just waits for inspiration to strike before you go work on your music or before you go work on a new marketing campaign or whatever it is, I'm 100% certain that you're not going to reach your goals. You're just not going to reach your goals. Uh, I've been that person in various businesses in the past. And if you're waiting for inspiration, if you're not making a commitment to yourself and keeping it every day, you're not going to get there. It's just, it's just how humans are wired. If, on the other hand, though, you make a commitment and you go for it and you show up every day, come rain or shine, no matter how you feel, whether you feel the spark of inspiration or if it feels a little bit like drudgery, if you show up and create, if you show up and write music, record music, practice your music, if you show up and communicate with your fans and build a connection with your fans uh, and you do that on a regular basis, then guess what? Pretty soon you won't be working for zero money per hour. Pretty soon you get be getting paid hourly, daily, weekly, monthly for zero work because that's the nature of an asset. But you have to show up. You have to do it regularly. Uh, and that goes against the notion of what people mostly think of as the way creative people actually create. The idea most people have is you, you lie around uh, doing whatever until inspiration spike strikes 
then you leap into action and suddenly all of the skills that you need just show up at your hand at, at your doorstep and you create something beautiful and amazing well no it doesn't work that way it's just hours of, of work day in day out hopefully you love it hopefully there's a smile on your face as you're doing the work as you're practicing your riffs as you're writing your lyrics as you're producing your music as you're getting it critiqued and taking feedback and adjusting your mix as you're com connecting with your fans and communicating with them and taking their inputs and learning from them and folding that back into the products that you create. But you have to show up and you have to do that on a regular basis. So those are the two different ideas that you have to hold in your mind. It ain't a job, but you have to show up every day and work at it. And that's how you get to where you want to go. All right, I'm Steve Piper. We'll see you next time.